Vieques, La Isla Nena. Join us today while we explore some of the most gorgeous beaches in Puerto Rico and the brightest bio bay in the world. Our adventure today starts with a one hour drive to the town of Ceiba. Ceiba is on the east coast of the island of Puerto Rico. In Ceiba, you will find the ferry terminal that is your departure point to the islands of Vieques and Culebra. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Right now we're in Ceiba, waiting to get onto the ferry to go to Vieques. We're super excited because this is our first time to go to Vieques and we're going to check out some great beautiful beaches for snorkeling. And we're also going to go to the Bio Bay. Hope you guys enjoy this trip with us. After getting on the ferry, the trip took about 40 minutes. This way of traveling is basically the only means available for the people of Vieques to get from the main island to their homes. Sadly, the process can be quite stressful and recently, it's been plagued with problems that have caused shortages of supplies people need for their daily lives. When arriving to the terminal in Vieques, you will find several taxis and buses that can take you to your destination. We made it to Vieques and now we're on a bus going to our Airbnb and then we're going to go to the Bio Bay tour. So we're really excited to see the beautiful Bio Bay. On the north coast of Vieques, you will find the beautiful town of Isabel Segunda. This coastal town is full of history and has a charm of its own. It features a central plaza where you will find the city hall, the church, and several businesses and restaurants. We just arrived in beautiful Vieques about 30 minutes ago. We got a bus um, to the Black Hotel, which is where our Bio Bay tour leaves from. And we even got to have a little tiny appetizer dinner at the Black Hotel, and we had the best ceviche I've ever had. So now we're here at this beautiful beach, and we're gonna do the Bio Bay tour. We selected for our tour Vieque Eco Trips, a great team of very knowledgeable locals that will give you a fun and informative tour. We were picked up by Daniel and taken to the Bio Bay where Cruz, a very charismatic guide, took us kayaking in the bay. There are five Bio Bays in the world and three of them are in Puerto Rico. Categorized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the brightest Bio Bay in the world and listed as a natural landmark, Mosquito Bay is one of the most magical places in the world. The bioluminescence is caused by a microorganism which glows whenever the water is disturbed, leaving a trail of neon blue. While on the tour, our guide explained amazing details about the bay and this rare ecosystem. Certainly, this is an unforgettable experience. If you visit Vieques, give Vieque Eco Trips a call. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> such a good time at the Bio Bay tour. The ferry ride was really stressful, but the Bio Bay tour made it so worth it. The water was so bright blue with the dinoflagellates. It was so cool. It was awesome. Uh, and today we're gonna we're gonna explore, I think, Punta Arenas, which is also known as Green Beach. Our guide last night said that we might find manatees there. And then we're gonna go to a couple other beaches and decide as, as, as we go which beaches we're gonna hit. So we're super excited for this day. It's going to be really, really beautiful. Before we go to Punta Arenas, let's explore some other beautiful beaches in this area. If you love beaches, Vieques is a paradise, having some of the most beautiful ones in the whole world. We start off with Sun Bay Beach. Located on the south coast of Vieques, in just a few minutes from Esperanza, you will find this beach very accessible. It's a balneario, meaning that it is managed by a government agency, so you will find restrooms, showers, and parking services. There's also a small cafe inside if you get hungry. Also, there are beautiful wild horses roaming around everywhere. Calm, clear turquoise waters, beautiful white sand, and an incredible landscape in a half-moon shape Make this beach a spectacular place to spend the whole day while relaxing and admiring nature. From the shore, you will see two small cayos. 
Cayo Real and Cayo de Tierra, which act as windbreaks, making the landscape even more impressive. This is the perfect spot for a long walk on the beach because Sun Bay is about a mile long of peaceful beauty and rolling waves. It's certainly one of the most beautiful beaches on the island. Eight minutes from Esperanza, you will find a unique beach known for its black sand, Playa Negra. To get to this magnificent place, follow the road and watch for kilometer marker 7.0. Soon you'll get to the sign Playa Negra. When you arrive, you have to park outside on the curbside and do a little hike to get to the beach. Be sure to have good footwear since it's not so easy to get there, but it's definitely worth it. Due to some volcanic material that washed down through streams from Monte Pirata, this beach gets volcanic deposits, giving it its unique characteristic. The striking black sand makes this place a great one for hiking or walking along the shore. This landscape is certainly a must-see while in Vieques and will inspire you for years to come. Beach, we made a quick stop in La Placita at the Black Hotel for a nice brunch. Delicious food, a great view, and relaxing ambiance makes this restaurant a great choice. Now, we're driving 30 minutes north to Punta Arenas on the northwest part of the island. Punta Arenas is part of the Vieques National Wildlife Refuge. The road to get there is a little rough, but its views and nature make up for it. Punta Arenas Beach is a remote piece of paradise. We're here at Punta Arenas, and this is where we're going to start our snorkeling adventure today. Look how beautiful the water is. This beach is also called Green Beach, and it's rumored that we might see manatees. So let's see what we can find. Crystal clear waters and soft sand makes this beach one of our favorites. On a clear day, you can see the main island of Puerto Rico from the shore. If you like snorkeling, Punta Arenas is one of the most incredible places to visit in Puerto Rico and even in the whole world. Full of marine life, this beach has so many beautiful sights to admire above and below the water. We had an amazing encounter with a group of green sea turtles and southern stingrays. The coral reef just off the shore has an amazing variety of tree-like corals. I personally think this is the best place in Puerto Rico to snorkel from the shore. Although the protected swimming area is small, you could spend all day exploring and enjoying the colors and shapes of the reef. So we just snorkeled in Punta Arenas and it was a perfect snorkeling experience. We saw a bunch of stingrays, we saw like seven sea turtles. It was beautiful and the corals out in that direction are so pretty. There's like these like tree-like corals and they're so beautiful. So many different colors. This is a wonderful snorkeling experience. So next we're gonna go to Mosquito Pier and see how that is. About 15 minutes east of Punta Arenas, we're going to find another super fun snorkeling spot, Rompeolas. Rompeolas was constructed in 1941 as part of the U.S. Navy's plan to join Vieques in Puerto Rico. But this plan was abandoned after the U.S. entered into World War II. We're here in Mosquito Pier in Vieques, and this beach is supposed to be amazing for snorkeling. When you enter, you want to park on the left and then snorkel on the left because the right side is the side that breaks the waves from the ocean and also catches all the gross sargasso algae and stuff. So we're going to go in here on the left side and you have to climb down the rocks a little bit to get in and we're going to snorkel and see if we can find some turtles. This is definitely another incredible place in Vieques. 
Surrounded by two beautiful beaches, Rompeolas is a really fun place to snorkel. Sometimes the water can be cloudy, but still, it's a nice place to admire brain corals, fish, turtles, and other sea critters. Just be careful going into the water. This pier is also nice for a relaxing day just sitting and admiring the landscape. Certainly, Vieques is surrounded by beauty. Mosquito Pier is really fun for snorkeling. You can just snorkel along the rocks here and see so many different kinds of fish. And you can see some great brain corals with Christmas tree worms and things growing on them. We decided we're gonna hit the next beach now because the, the lighting and the, vis the visibility wasn't super great, so it wasn't great for filming, but it is a really fun place to come and snorkel with your family. Our adventure is almost over, but what an incredible experience it has been. Now we are driving to the southeast part of the island for our final beach on this tour, Punta Galindez. Galindas in the middle of a big wildlife reserve and this is where we're going to finish our snorkeling adventure today. Lovely clear waters, ivory sand, and millions of pieces of broken coral make this beach a nice one for a hike or a peaceful picnic with friends and family. Due to its rocky nature, it can be quite difficult to get into the water, but its fauna, relaxing ambience, and scenery make up for it. What a spectacular day we had in one of the most diverse and special places in Puerto Rico. As we drive back home, we can't help but wonder, what else does this incredible world have to offer? Certainly, Vieques is a paradise, and we must do anything in our power to help keep it that way. Go out, live, and explore. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing, and see you on our next adventure.